morning, boys and girls. Detective Ferguson here to talk to you about your mental health. All right, this is something that people kind of get a little weirded out. Like they feel like some kind of baby because they want to talk about having feelings. Detective Ferguson has feelings. You know, Detective Ferguson has a lot of feelings. Sometimes he's happy. Sometimes he's sad. You know, sometimes I think I'm like angry, but it turns out I'm just really hungry. So then I eat like a protein bar and I'm good to go. But in all reality, let's talk about our mental health for a moment. During times like this, this global pandemic, we're all stuck at home. It's really important, boys and girls, that we focus on our mental health. So I'm gonna give you some tips of things that you can do. For one thing, Take a bath, fill that bathtub up with water, add some bubbles, maybe a little bath bomb. There's nothing like dropping that bath bomb and watching it just go out. Now, if you don't have bubble bath, I'm gonna teach you a little secret. If you take your shampoo and you squeeze it under the faucet while the water's running, it turns into bubble bath. Secondly, Try to get some vitamin D. Go outside, get some sunlight. Don't be staying in your room with the lights turned off where the only light is the flicker from your PlayStation. All right, you need to go outside, get some sunshine, get some of that vitamin D, soak that in. Third of all, make sure you're not living on hot Cheetos. Make sure you're getting some vegetables. Make sure you're getting some fruits. Because the reality is, boys and girls, you need to eat healthy. Food is like gas is to a car for your brain. Because we know you're keeping up on that schoolwork. I haven't had to do any house calls lately, boys and girls. Okay. I'm going to take this off and talk to you guys as Mrs. Pyle. I really didn't know if I was ever gonna be able to put on another wig or make another funny video. It's really hard in times like this where there's so much unknown um, to find the humor in things. But I was thinking about each of you today and I was thinking if there's anything that we can do to get through this, it's try to laugh. Try to stay connected even though physically we're apart. You know, I make these videos and I joke about something like mental health, but we all have to take a moment and not just focus on our schoolwork and what's up here, but you all need to make sure you're taking a moment to focus on what's in here. I promise you, all of your teachers are here for you. And please reach out to us at any time because in reality, we're just hanging out at home like you guys are. Love you guys. I feel like web leaders have impacted students by making them more social and more welcome to the school and not being like not being afraid to ask us like for help with anything. Um, I feel like us web leaders have impacted the sixth grade students because we help them become more comfortable here in software and we make them feel welcome and whenever they need help they should always come to us. I think we impact their sixth graders by making them turn into leaders and so they can stand up for themselves. Being a web leader has helped me grow because um, before, I, before I joined web, I wasn't sure if I was like fit to be a leader, but after um, getting in web and just doing activities with um, kids, I learned that I do want to be a leader and that, um, that I am a leader. Encouraging. Confident. Outgoing. Inspiring. Hard workers. Role models. Kind. Loyal. Responsible. Positive. Phenomenal.
Good morning, Spartans. My name is Sarah McQuiston. I'll be your anchor for today. Today's date is April 3rd, 2020. This week's character comp quote is when you see someone without a smile, give them yours by Zig Ziglar. Now I believe it's time for us to do the pledge. Let's do the pledge. Please stand. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today we are celebrating a ton of birthdays. Today's birthday are today's birthdays are Andrew Gonzalez, Anahi, Cap- Capitin, Carrera, Haley Livia, and the weekend birthdays are Piero uh, Acevedo, Ize Rangles, Roxana Vargas, Marlene Castanetas, Omari Alvarez, Jeremiah Foos, Jeremy Gomez, Sebastian Masado, Esther Gonzalez, and Angel Villalobos. Happy birthday, Spartans, and I'm so sorry if I mispronounced your name. Up next is the Daily News. Hi Spartans, it's Mrs. Har here with her daughters, Charlie and Shelby, and we just wanted to welcome you to our house. So as you walk through our house, Spartans, this is our family room, and this is kind of where I've set up my computer and everything, but my favorite part of the house is if you go out the side door, we have our outdoor area. And this is my favorite. This is my favorite place to be. I love to hang out outside on the couches. We have a pool for the kids, a big barbecue over there. Someone's um, riding a scooter. And then back over this way, I'll show you. We have a garden. So I have strawberries growing, which I'm sure, I don't know if stuff's in season or not, but I still have them growing. And then over here, I have um, my bell peppers and I have different kinds of tomatoes. Something that's really cool is that we live um, next to these trails, as you can see. And you can come down here anytime to get some fresh air. And there is a group of people who've created a garden on the trails. So I'm gonna show you. So this is the garden and it's really cool. So they say, welcome to our California nature garden. And they've like labeled, oh, there's Shelby. (laughs) They've like labeled, the different plants and things. And um, it's just a group of people who regularly change up this area to make it better for the community. It's real pretty. And like I said, it's just right here off of these trails that are near our house. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you guys, I always talk about how I am super addicted to my morning routine, how I get up early, how I drink my coffee, and I head to the garage to go work out. So remember, I do all this like 4.30 in the morning. I know you guys know this, but I want to show you the garage of where I go. So come on in this way. This is the garage. And this is where I come every morning. I have the treadmill, I have the bike, I have my weights on the floor, and then when I'm really early in the morning and now with distance learning, you'll sometimes see that I'm zooming from my couch out here. So this is our house, Spartans. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Have a great day. My name is Sam McQuiston and today's date is April 3rd, 2020. This week's character counts quote is, when you see someone without a smile, give them yours by Zig Ziglar. Now it's time for me to go. Don't forget to read, lean, succeed.